what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Plunder Pirates. That's right guys, we are plundering away. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> I freaking love zooming in and out on this game. It's absolutely absurd. Um, so we've got four builders available, but we've got an issue. So all of our... Um, uh, can I upgrade this? What's going on? I can. Wow. I didn't know I could upgrade that. <laughs> Alright, so all of our grog distilleries can actually be upgraded, which I didn't know. Uh, they can be upgraded to level 9. Wow. So we're Pirate Hall level 5. I did not know that because I believe... Can I upgrade this? I can. Alright, awesome. So I was worried that the only thing I could upgrade now was my walls. Uh, as you can see, the majority of my walls are level 4. The corner walls are, however, level 5. Um, so all of these all the way around to level 4, and the corner ones are level 5. Let's go ahead and just upgrade this uh, corner one right there, and then we'll upgrade these two corners also, <coughs> as well as the, uh, the actual corner. So we'll upgrade those, and uh, we're moving on up, guys, as you all can see. Uh, we've got a couple raids to go over. I'm going to show you guys uh, the new strategy that I am using. I don't know what to call it, so you guys can comment down below what to call it. Um, it is uh, Recruit. Let's finish these bad boys. Yes. And we'll go in here and check out what it is. So we've got four Juggernauts, four Bombers, four Brutes, and 18 Buccaneers. All right. Um, so that's for a 50 slot. Uh, that's for a 50 slot. What the freak is this thing called? Tavern. <laughs> uh, so we've got Bucks and Brutes. So that could be uh, Bucks, Brutes, Juggernaut. So it could be uh, Bugger, Bugger, Bomb, Brute. I don't know. You guys come up with it. Y'all are better at names than me. Uh, so come up with a name for it uh, down below. Put it in the comments. And uh, if I pick it, I'll let you know. But... I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a attack. So I actually lost a whole bunch of these on purpose. You can see there's no loot. Uh, I lost them because I was dropping trophies because I was up at like 380 or somewhere around there. Um, and I wasn't finding any bases that I could easily farm. So that's why I did that. But let's go ahead and watch this last attack. Uh, again, you can see I, I quit it at 98% because I didn't want to get full trophies. I forgot to do that on the one before that. But let's go look at detail details. Look at some details, and we are going to uh, watch this last attack. So the way that I'm doing this attack is dropping two brutes, two bombers, and two juggernauts on either side, as well as nine of the gunners. So one, two. You can see going down at the bottom. One, two, and one, two, and then nine. That way, the mortars, which I think are one of the most uh, dangerous defenses in the game because they really affect the way that your troops are attacking. Um, you can see when they hit, they knock them back and then they get all disoriented, uh, which is cool, but it can be super stressful. So right now my mortar is disoriented and I've got my gunners coming from both sides, as you can see uh, from the attack right here. Uh, so, oh, look at that. It's glitching. <laughs> so I've got gunners right there, gunners right here, and then brutes and... Uh, Brutes and Juggernauts inside the walls, and then Gunners on this back line all the way up, and Brutes and Juggernauts getting in right there. So we can just keep playing and um, watch them as they go to work. So the Mortar, you can see, is still is still kind of jumping around, trying to figure out what the heck it wants to do. It's focused on this Juggernaut right now, which sucks because it's totally messing up that Juggernaut. He looks like a noob spinning around on a Ferris wheel or something. But the Mortar is now down and the rest of the base is free game. All that is left is the boat, and we can... Let's see if we can get a cool pause little freeze frame. Look at this. This is so awesome. Look at the smoke in there. Let's see if we can get the... There's the bomber's bomb about to hit the building. Boom! Um, they're shooting at the boat, finishing it up, and I've got all the loot at this point. All that is left is this little builder's hut over here, so we're going to go ahead and finish that raid so that we don't get too many trophies all right but why don't we go ahead we'll plunder let's see what we can find um i'm still not finding bases with like over a hundred thousand this one's good uh do i want to go for it he's got pretty upgraded defenses 
Uh, let's keep searching. Let's see if we can find one with a little bit more loot. It has been a little challenging. I'm not sure if there's a loot penalty or what the loot penalty is in Plunder Pirates. Um, so I probably need to talk to the guys over at Madoki and see what it is so that I can know uh, technically like what the... Well, I don't know, if there's a loot penalty, if you're attacking lower bases, uh, lower pirate halls, all this kind of stuff. So uh, let's see if we can find a good base that we can annihilate. This one's pretty good. It doesn't have that much uh, loot. So let's keep looking. I want to see if I can find a good amount of grog. Uh, this one has pretty upgraded walls, so I'm not going to mess with that one either. I want to find a good amount of grog so that I can research some of my troops or so that I can train them up, teach them in the academy. Oh, no, why did I skip it? Oh, I skipped it. Here we go. All right, we're attacking this one. So let's go ahead and fight, and we will uh, drop off. So we'll do one, two, one, two, one, two, and uh, one, two, one, two, and one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just drop off six gunners right now. That juggernaut is not going where I want him to go. Um, actually, let's drop off the rest of them. One, two, three. One, two, three. Where did I... I missed dropping off a bomber over here. We'll go ahead and use the uh, gunner's ability, and hopefully we can get in here uh, to these buildings. The brutes do have to run a little ways to get in there, and that one right there, this brute right here is already almost dead, so uh, we got to go to work. We have got to go to work if we are going to get uh, this grog like we want. Um, we really need, alright good, so the mortar is, what's the mortar focused on right now? It's not shooting. Alright good, so it's not on our gunners, and boom, our gunners just took down that mortar, and is this mortar down? No, so we have one mortar over here as well, that is focused on our gunners, no! Okay good, it's not, it's focused on our brute. We've got a bunch of gunners, I really really need their ability to become active, right? Come on, right now, there we go, so we're gonna take out the pirate hall, hopefully this juggernaut will come in here, and take out this mortar, and the mortar will focus on that other juggernaut. Yes, that'll be perfect. As long as that mortar doesn't focus on our gunners over here, then we will be perfectly fine. They are moving in. Come on, gunners. If the gunners can just take it out, take it out, take it out, take it. Move, 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 move. Oh, all right, so some of them got away. Uh, we've already gotten the majority of the, uh, of the grog. You can see the rest of it is right over here. And we should be able to move in, sweep in, and take out the rest of that grog. Look at that attack, guys. That worked very, very well. I was worried. I was worried. I'll be honest. I was worried. All right, so we've got all the loot. I'm just going to use their ability real quick because it's cool. Where are the other buildings? All right, we'll let them destroy the boat just, just for fun. For funsies. Look at that. Let's pause it. Oh, we get. <laughs> I just tried to pause a live attack. <laughs> For some reason, I... Th okay, we're going to finish it right there because I don't want trophies again. 99%. Oh, too bad, big boy. All right, so we got a lot of loot on that one. Or we got a lot of grog, which is what we wanted. 87 and 110. Thank you very much for the grog. Uh, let's go over in into the academy and train some troops. I believe that we can... All right, so we can train the gunner. Nope, nope. I don't really use them that much. Uh, what can, what is what is this one? I think this is for when they're out of the ocean. Oh, I can do one of these too, though. Oh, dang it, no, I can't. <laughs> uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to attack one more time, and let's see if we can find ourselves a good amount of uh, grog. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oops, an extra one. And then throw in all these gunners, and come on. And we are going to finish this, and we are going to get at it. So let's go ahead and go back to plundering. I think we need, we might need like 200,000, so I'm not sure we're going to find that. Uh, but we might find, if we find another one over 100, I'll be happy with that. I'll be, uh, I'll be satisfied. So uh, we're just going to search here. As you can see, oh wow, this guy built all of his stuff towards the back of his base. <laughs> That's funny. Um... <clears throat> But I hope that you guys are enjoying the game. I definitely am. It is awesome. Uh, they've worked really, really, really hard for us on fixing the servers. And I haven't ran into any issues with it uh, in a while. So everybody in the comments say thank you to Madoki and uh, Rovio for working really, really hard on that and fixing that. They've got a, uh, a very talented group of, uh, of workers working on all this. Um, 
So, yes, thank you so much, guys, for the game. Thank you for working on it. I'm sure that they had many sleepless nights, so that's awesome. Um, we're not having any luck right now finding any grog, so I might cut right here. Um, and once we find a base <clears throat> or an island that has a good amount of grog on it, I'll be back with you guys, and we will attack it, okay? So hold tight. Don't fright. I'll be right back, all right? See ya. <laughs> All right, guys, so here we go. This base is very poorly upgraded, and <clears throat> it has a whole bunch of loot for us. So uh, here we go again. Where are his defenses? All of his defenses are in the middle. So we're just going to drop off both of these guys, one, two of those guys, and one, two. And then uh, we'll drop off our uh, brutes right here, these guys right here, two bombers right there. And now the brutes are actually walking in towards the, uh, towards the defenses, so that's perfect. And we'll go ahead and use our gunner's abilities right there. <clears throat> the brutes are working their way in. I'm just going to be looking over here to the left to the, uh, the screen. Um, you can see our gunners are doing work. Our brute right here, there we go. Those two brutes just took that out. We need to get to the mortar next, which is exactly where they are. And they aren't doing too much damage to it, but hopefully we can take it down uh, without losing too many of our gunners. Come on, take it down. All these gunners are about to die. Yes. All right, good. So the gunners didn't die. Still got our brutes up. We are <clears throat> absolutely crushing this guy. The last grog storage is right here uh, that we need to get to. So looks like we got some gunners over there on the side working their way over. We'll go ahead and use their ability. They are going to run in there uh, shooting flaming pink bullets going to town. This bomber is probably going to come over and do a lot of... Bombers do a lot of damage. They're just really, really random because they'll randomly run away from stuff. Is this going to be 100% if I get the grog storage? I think it is. Dang it. <laughs> the last thing that I wanted was to get 100%, but the last thing that I also wanted was all of the grog, and they went and got it and got us some more trophies. So 109, 126, guys. I'm okay with that. I'm not going to lie. I'm okay with that. So now let's go in here. And let's see what... Can we do anything to the gunners? We can still do that one. I don't want to do that. Bombers. Here, let's see what we can do to the bombers. Um, what is this? Boost damage caused when attacking the attacking the enemy's walls. Yeah. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't attack bases with that hard of walls at this point. Um, oh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Let's go ahead and just upgrade our buccaneer. We might throw some of them in here. Uh, we'll give him... Uh, We'll upgrade his damage. So there we go. We'll go ahead and do that. And I'm going to train up another army composition for us. One, two, three, four. That was five. One, two, three, four. Why is my counting all off? And then we're going to throw all these guys in here. And uh, yeah, but that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope that y'all enjoyed. I really do. Uh, I've been loving this game, loving these graphics. Here's my new base layout. It's been working pretty well for me. Let me show you guys a defensive replay. Um, never mind. I lost. I'm kidding. We can watch it. <laughs> Let's replay this and see what he attacked me with. He had a whole bunch of gunners. Gunners are wrecking my base right now. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward and see what he does. So he drops off some gunners over at the side buildings. I don't see where he's dropped. All right, so he drops off all of his main troops right down here. Um, that cannon did absolutely no damage to them as they worked their way in. So uh, my mortars might be a little bit too spread out. I might need to put them a little bit closer together. Um, just because I want them to do more damage, more joint damage than they are right now. But um, the guy ended up, did he end up taking all of the loot that he could from me? Whoa, look how much freaking loot he has. That's cool that it shows his loot over there on the side. Hmm, that's really interesting. I've never seen that before or never really paid attention to it. Um, but yeah, he does get all of my loot from the center of the base. Freaking lucky duck. Um... But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've just been rambling on. Uh, you guys rock. Thank you so much for watching. Um, again, thank you to Madoki and Rovio for working on this game. It looks freaking awesome. Uh, and that's going to be it, guys. As always, make sure you keep calm and plunder on for me, all right? I'll see you guys later. Peace.